Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to the Solos Post. My name is Joel. My name is Rob. And today we're going to be talking about the High Republic. Uh, we're going to talk about The Light of Jedi, the new uh, novel that just came out. Um, so it's written by Charles Soule, uh, which is a great author. Um, and I know that Rob knows a little bit about, um, his, about his history. Yeah, he's actually written quite a few books. Um, these are some of them. He's written Lando. He's written the Obi-Wan and Anakin. So hopefully we get to see that incorporated maybe into uh, the Obi-Wan series. Never know. He's written. Oh, so, by the way. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that'd be really great, especially with all the things he's written. He's got a good rep. So let's see what happens. You know, he's written Darth Vader, Darth, Dark Lord of the Sith series, and The Rise of Kylo Ren. As you see, your boy's repping the Knights of Ren. Sure. And, and those series are very strong. They come in with, you know, an insane amount of chaos and tragedy, um, but also with uh, a, a level of enlightenment or new hope, uh, pun, uh, pun intended. Got that movie, right? <laughs> yeah. But no, no, seriously, I, um, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool, all the stuff he's written. And, and it's cool to see right now that we're, we're getting a different, um, a different world or a different uh, system. Yeah. Um, that comes again 200 years or so or more uh, prior to Phantom of Menace. Yeah, definitely from the original trilogies. Yes, from the yeah. beginning, episode one. Yeah, it's, it's really cool to read this book, guys. Um, again, it comes with that high level of tragedy, but it also comes in with some hope, too. Um, and let's jump right into uh, chapter one, real quick. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be talking chapter one to chapter three today and kind of give you a little bit of what we like, what, you know, what I like about the book. Um, also, feedback. yeah, um, also, uh, I, I don't really read books often. Um, I actually listen to them on the go, which gives me more time with my kids. Um, it also gives me more time at work as well so that I can sit down and just listen to the book. Um, and that's on Audible. So you guys can actually hit that link right down below. Um, get 30 days for free. So you get a free trial for 30 days. Um, you also get two books for free on that 30 day trial. Um, and if you guys sign up today, um, after that, you get a free book every month. So um, just- I, like the, I think we all like free. Yeah, we all like that. So hit that link down below. Um, and again, comment and like, and. Uh, We'll go into chapter one. Um, so, yeah, so give us give us some insight, because as you guys know, and as we mentioned in our last video, Joel has been reading um, The Light of the Jedi, which is the High Republic. So, you know, dive right into it, man. Yeah, I personally, how is it? I personally like this book. Um, I, I love listening to it on Audible again. Um, I love the intensity. I love the sounds, I love everything, the, the voice structure, everything is pretty cool. Um, we see during this era, it is the most powerful time for the Jedis. Yeah. Um, uh, we see them working together with the High Republic as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing we learn as well is that um, during this time, the Outer Rim hasn't really been explored too much. Um, so it's kind of like a little bit deserted. Um, it and, also we only has... know, and we only know a little bit. I'm so sorry. We only know a little bit about the Outer Rim, which is crazy. So it's mm -hmm. kind of, it's funny how it's like new now, but it's like we, we still didn't even know about it even in the Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we definitely explored more. Yeah. Um, but... And this time, we you know we everything's like Western feeling, and you know almost almost just a little bit. Just it's just like it's just Christopher Columbus never caught it. So yeah, it's one of those situations. But um, yeah, so we go straight into chapter one. Um, mind me, guys, I have notes on my phone so that like we can talk over and what's going on. Um, so again, um, we go into chapter four, uh, chapter one. Sorry, um, with Captain Hessel um, um, Cassett. Um, so this captain is known for her, um, she was part of a task force um, of pilots previous to that. Okay. So we kind of learned that a little bit about her. Um, so, and then right off of that, we learned that she's on a ship that receives an alert in this system. Mm. Um, so what's the, the alert- Sorry, what's that ship called? Um, well, the ship is called Legacy Run. Mm. Okay. Something so we used to the Millennium Falcon, so it's something different, right? It, it definitely is, you know, Star Destroyers and all that stuff. But um, yeah. we, we see that she's on this ship. Um, 
and she gets this an alert system that there's something blocking the hyperspace lane. Oh wow! Um, so she sees that there is something blocking it, and she tries to maneuver herself out of the way. And in doing so, um, her ship actually breaks in half. Oh wow! Um, nothing crashed. So what happens to her? Well, yeah, what happens to her? Well, um, we noticed because the ship broke in half was actually because she's also a cargo um, a ship. So she's actually hauling things on her ship. Uh, um, what were the one of the things that, what were the things that she was like hauling? Uh, she was hauling blue milk. Blue milk? Yeah, yeah. probably other the cargoes too. Isn't that the blue, is that the blue milk that we see at uh, Galaxy's Edge? For sure, one of the blue milks that we see at Galaxy's Edge, oh, especially cool. with a little bit of rum in it. No, no, I'm serious. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's one of those things. Um, I like Galaxy's Edge, by the way. Um, so Galaxy's Edge is really cool. Yeah. Down, but... yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's, she's carrying this cargo on her ship, and it's just too much besides the crewmates that she has on the ship for her to haul and move and maneuver away from this um, object coming at her. And the ship snaps in half. Um, so we start to see from there that, you know, she tries to protect her crew. She tries to um, put a, 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 put a, a try, tries to uh, cover her ship with a shield and everything. And it doesn't work out for her. By the time that she even tries to attempt anything, um, something comes out of hyperspace and destroys her ship. Wow. Um, Just that quick. Which which then we see that the captain is not so important anymore. Um, and she is completely obliterated, dead, and chapter is finished. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me we just got introduced to people and they're already gone? Yeah, uh, we got introduced to one person that is now dead. Wow, that's kind of like a bummer. It is a little bit of a bummer, um, you know, like, again, I, I rather I rather have a character that is introduced immediately and died off than building emotion over a character that over time I'm gonna love and die. You know what I mean? Like so, yeah, Han Solo, Luke, uh, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we we see this and although but, it's I mean, they, tragic, did, they did mention this and they did mention this that you will see a lot of people come and go. You will lose a lot. So we did see that. We did we didn't know that this was coming that people would die. Yeah, for sure. We we knew we knew going into it when we saw the the videos of um, of all the authors and all the illustrators and everybody uh, talking in that convention about yeah, what's to come for the High Republic. Yeah, yeah. I so um, dive into chapter two. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. Um, so again, um, we go into chapter two, um, and now we're in, in the Het Soul system. Um, awful. Which, which is actually part of the Outer Rim. Um, this system is inhabited by uh, three planets or moons, you want to say? Um, so Livable or no, or they don't really mention? I'm sorry? Livable or? like? Um, yeah, they're, they're inhabited. So they're, there's, there's people definitely there. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's people living on these place. We have the prime world. Uh, we have the fruited moon. And we have the rooted moon. Um, Something different. Yep. And we have approximately about 40 plus billion people living on these uh, planets or in the system. Okay. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we get introduced to uh, Marvin Getter. Uh, he is a scan tech. Um, he logs in the traffic that comes in and out of the system. Um, so we see a little bit of a human side to that part of the book where it talks about, I know we all have done this, where we daydream at work, whether we're daydreaming about what we want to do in life, whatever, but we kind of get that human side of him, even though he's not a human, we get that human side of him, um, where he's dreaming. One of my questions is before, because I know you got a lot of stuff, um, does he play a big role? Um, in this chapter, he plays an important role. Um, do tell. Well, that's that's all I can say until I get to the the ending, um, but uh, yeah. So he he uh, he's daydreaming about the love of his life, like we all have done at one point in our lives. I hope he uh, makes the love of his life. Yeah, and I know, right? 
Um, so we we get to see that. We also get introduced to his boss, um, his well. Um, his boss's name is Valcoran. Um, I'm sorry, Valcorin. Um, is his boss, and they're both working on this ship again. Um, they're both working on a monitor vessel that monitors everything that comes out of the system, um, in and out of the system. Um, so this is when we start seeing again what Charles Soule does, and it's a little bit of that tragedy. Um, we see that there is something on their monitor that is coming in. Now, this is the, this is the crazy part about it. We see one object coming in this monitor where now he doesn't understand what it is because it's not really a signal coming off of it. So it's not a ship um, and it's not, they just don't know what it is. They don't even, um, could it be the cargo from chapter one? Um, no, that one is a completely obliterated, gone out Got it. <laughs> into space dust. Gotcha. Um, but no, this one you see a little bit of, you see one object, a blink of an eye, 40 something objects coming out of nowhere. Yeah. So um, they realize that there's just no time for anything and they have to figure things out. Um, that's when you start seeing that, you know, they, 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 um, they, you start to see a pattern in what's, what's gonna come in the book, I'm sorry. Um, again, they start thinking that it might be an asteroid since there's no signal coming off of it. They thought it was an asteroid, but it was just too many small, items or objects coming through at such a high speed. Yeah. Yeah. At such a high speed and such a huge volume of these things yeah. um, for it to even be an asteroid or even ships. Um, so Getter notices. They really weren't worried about it then. That's why. Um, well, again, um, one, one of the things we learn also in that chapter is that um, these, this system is an agricultural system. So they're known for, you know, farming and planting and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's not something, you know, there, I, I don't think they were really seeing it as, I mean, maybe there was one point where he thought it was an invasion, but who would invade, who would invade farmlands? You know what I mean? And especially being the outer rim too. Mm -hmm. Like uh, it, it just didn't, it just didn't make sense. Yeah. I could it, it just, to, to me personally, I don't, I don't think, you know, okay, let's attack this planet because of this. I and mean, especially we have no, we've never seen that. Like, we don't even know that this outer rim is even a thing. We didn't even know. Like you said before, too, it's it's kind of like Western to us, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so, so it, it's, it's insane to see that. Um, and then they also start seeing these objects when they're coming through, hit other ships um, and obliterating them, turning them into dust, like just poof, gone. Um, you know, so we start seeing that at this point. Uh, we come to the conclusion that, again, like I told you, um, they're confused. It cannot be an invasion, so they don't know what's going on. Um, and by the time they, by the time they start thinking of a plan, Getter and Vale are now dead. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> dead? Yes, they are dead. But wait a minute. But right, right before that, they sent out uh, an alert. They sent yeah. out an alert. Yeah, they, they send an alarm or, or an alert. Yeah, from chapter yeah. one. So, where was yeah, this? So, where what happened? So, um, so they sent they sent an alert. Um, they sent an alert, and um, we see that in that in that most panic moment, of course, of them trying to explain or see what's going on or trying to give somebody information, um, wasn't successful. The planet that is below, um, below in that Hetzel system. Uh, gets that gets that um, gets that signal, and that's the end of the chapter right there for two. Wow, that's kind of upsetting. It's upsetting. Uh, uh, you know. It is. It is, and I can see where, and I can see where other people would get a little bit frustrated because yeah. you know they want to see characters that they can really fall for. Yeah, especially at the with. beginning of the book, you kind of want to fall in love with it right off the bat, and you want to know like, okay, like I could see this person playing a role in the whole book, but then it's like, oh, wow, chapter one, chapter two, you gone. Yep, and again, I personally speaking, I like that it's that intensity coming in. Yeah. That it's like, all right, we got a character, boom, gone. All right, we don't have to worry about him. Next characters, boom, boom, gone. We don't have to worry about them. And then we slowly start getting to other stuff, of course, later. But again, the way I'm explaining it is just the way 
I perceived it. It's not the way, you know, they they wrote it out. It's the way I'm understanding it. Well, um, right. and, and, and that's something I think our viewers are, our, our, excuse me, guys, our viewers will understand. Yeah. Is that, you know, we're telling it from a tale on our end. And it's cool because, you know, Joel and I both have different perspectives on it. And that's what makes it all the difference. And you see that difference and that differentiate, you know, so I think that's pretty cool, you know? Yeah, I mean, you, you I mean, again, I'll go back to what I said before, you know, I'd rather get to know, uh, get to get a character that I don't get too much of a background for, die out, then getting a whole character, his background or her background um, and get love the them. whole thing. And love then them. all of a sudden, yeah, love them. And then they, then they die. Like Honestly, the the that's not cool. Yeah, that's, and to be honest with you, if it was in the middle of the book where that happened, we got to learn about them seven, eight chapters before, that's fine to me. Cause you kind of gives you a whole storyline behind that. But it, I mean, this, in this case, it's only a couple of pages. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's so, it's so repetitive, but you yeah. know, who knows? Maybe I mean, the, three will be different. Who knows? But I mean, the good, the good thing is that at least they got the alert or the alarm system. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they did get the alarm system out to the planet at least yeah like i was gonna ask was there some sort of a message that went out you know like a video yeah. message, and like maybe they like was there an option to go like for people who maybe couldn't or could go like was there options? well well we'll definitely learn that in the next chapter so um just jumping into the next chapter real quick chapter three guys um so it actually takes us from space and it brings us into one of the one of the three planets or moons, I don't, or whatever you want to say, because they're all inhabited by somebody. <laughs> um, so we go to the prime world in the Hetzel system where the uh, where the alarms are received. Right. So we see that the alarms are received. Somebody there. got the alarm finally. Um, <laughs> thanks to the two that have died, um, Getter and Veil. So we see that at least at least their, their efforts didn't go in vain. Um, and we're introduced to a new character in the book, uh, Mr. I'm sorry, Minister um, Zifron um, Inca. Sounds like you're saying Zach Efron, dude. Yeah, I, I think that's where they got it, to be honest with you. I mean, who knows? Zifron, Zach Efron, Zifron. They might um, get him for the movie. Who knows? If yeah. he <laughs> I get him, you never know. I don't know, man. Um, but it's just funny, right? So uh, from this from this moment on, I will I will I will I will say his name as Inca, uh, so that we don't have to have Zac Efron in our head the whole time. Good idea, bro. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're introduced to him to this minister, um, and he is addressing to his council um, that he has no idea what's going on, and the alert has come to him, his attention. Um, in the midst of them trying to figure out what's going on, um, you see him and his security general arguing. They're literally arguing in the middle of a destruction, um, catastrophic, I don't know how you want to name this, but they're, they're doing that. Sounds um, a little bit like kind of like what we're going through in life right now, doesn't it? It does sound a little similar. I think Carl right? Stowe was thinking of something when he when he was writing it. I think he yeah, had I, a lot I think of time you, to reflect on twenty twenty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I, I honestly, I honestly believe that too. I, th I think, I think we learned that a little bit. I think we get, that's another human side of it. You know, like through hardship or through whatever's going on, or that, a panic moment. You know, yeah. Um, sometimes we're human and we do those things. So I think that was a good that was a good detail that he did. Um, so yeah, so now we're introduced to uh, General Borda. Okay. That's another character that we get introduced to, and he's he's a human, okay, and he's head of security for the Hetzel system, okay. Um, so we see that they're arguing in the in the middle of this in the middle of this whole this whole thing that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, the most the dumbest thing that they can be doing is that, and then on top of that, he's arguing about a defense system that wasn't invested in. So he's arguing with the minister and he's like, yo, listen, you know, you didn't give me enough money so that we can protect this system or even this planet. Investment gone wrong. You know what I mean? So um, that, that does suck. Yeah. Um, at that moment, um, after that argument, um, Ika um, orders an evacuation system-wide. Oh, wow. Okay. So the whole system, he's telling everybody, hey, you know, Let's get out of here. 
This is, we don't know what is coming in. We don't know what's happening. It's time. Um, we got to, it's time to go. Oh, so there you go. That message that we were talking about, chapter two ends up playing in now. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and, and at least, you know, the minister, he tried to do everything in his, in his, in his power to, to stay behind and, you know, try to do the right thing. You know, like the, the captain usually stays, you know, with the ship till it goes down, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. So he, he really tried to stay behind um and really try to do the right thing and you know try to just be like hey i'm the minister here i i I handle things and you know the right thing for me to do is stay with my people and you know trying to get them to safety yeah um so we start seeing that uh, of course like i said he broadcasts the warning throughout through all three planets or throughout the whole system um and this is where it kind of goes a little sideways for him Mm-hmm. Um, once the broadcast goes out and people start receiving them on their data pads and all that stuff, um, there's some people that just don't believe them. Yeah, I think if you told me that there's something coming and it's time to evacuate, I'm out. Yeah, I'm not. Um, I, don't I mean, that, that's that's def- that's for sure. That's for sure. I'm 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 gone. Yeah. You know, like oh, oh, this is coming. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. Um, it, it even got to the point where the the book, that chapter details mm-hmm. that there's people with data pads that shut them off to not listen to him. Wow. Um, then you start getting other people that, um, other survivors or other people that are there that just don't have the means. Right. So not that they don't want to get off, it's just they don't have yeah, no. ways of life, you know, like other people have to get off the planet. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that relates to like, kind of like you said, it relates to, you know, kind of like, you know, life in general you know yeah i mean i i can i can probably Sympathize. say that if this ever happens to us here you know like there's probably gonna be a couple of people that don't have the means to get off and unfortunately it's gonna be tragic so that's how it is there yeah um you know you have other people that are just like move get out of the way i'm i'm getting off this planet <laughs> you know what i mean like when you have that too so at least at least you have at least you have that side of it too. So you kind of, again, another human uh, nature that you, you see different things happening yep. and it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so now we have that happening. Um, we see on the rooted moon, mm-hmm. um, there is a trader um, that's trying to, that has a starship and he's trying to take all these people off planet. So he has a starship that's big enough to hold 500 plus people. Right. Um, again, there's an exact number. I'm, I don't know the, I don't remember the exact number, but this trader tries to move that many people off the planet. Wait a minute. Trader, why is he saving people if he's a trader? Oh, I'm sorry. A trader of goods. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. That's my check. Traders don't save people. No, no, no. Not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He's, uh, he's, 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 a, he's a good guy. Yeah. Um, again, we're in an agricultural system. So, um, you know, they trade different types of goods, different types of things, the farmers and all these people that live there. Gotcha. Um, so he just tried to be a kind gentleman um, and try to take people off planet. Mm. Again, Charles soul takes out my soul and destroys it um you're we lying. See, no yeah we see that this um ship literally grabs all these people and can't fit no more not even a kilometer off the floor and boom there goes the engines so you mean to tell me another big tragedy yeah another catastrophic tragedy it's sad man but you know it's 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 part of life you know it's part of the, the life in the book at least yeah, um, definitely. I mean, wow, that's that's pretty intense stuff. That's three chapters already, and we're already lost characters. But again, you know what? They did say that this would happen, so I guess I yeah. can't be too upset. But I can kind of, you know, relate to those fans who are kind of just like, "Is everybody truly gonna die?" Like, yeah, we, you know, gonna- and, I, and I and I know, and I know that it won't. It won't be that way. Yeah. Um, I know that it will. It will be a little bit different. Um, but unfortunately, right now, that's that's just how it goes, you know. Um, and at least from what I've I've read, and I know there's more that I would love to give you guys a little bit more. But again, uh, today we're just gonna go try to keep it as solid as three chapters uh, for you. But 
Um, yeah, it, 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 it bursts into flames. Uh, uh, balls of raining fire start coming down from the sky because, you know, it's, it's the ship is gone now. Right. Um, and it's due to how many people it was holding. I guess it was an older ship that right. just couldn't, couldn't hold. Uh, couldn't hold many people. The planet are seeing this. They're just like, wow. Yeah. Like, I, I, yeah. I mean, in, in that situation, you're kind of like, damn, I'm lucky that I didn't get on it. But then you're like, at the same time, damn, my time is coming. <laughs> yeah. Just, and it's, it's, it's just one of those things. And, and I think, and I think that's actually one of the, one of the, one of the passages in the book where it says, you like, you know, people are looking and they're like, Hey, you know, is, is this, am I lucky that I didn't go on it? Yeah. Or am I not lucky because I could have died a lot sooner than having an actual timeline and knowing yeah. that I'm going to die because of something else that's going to hit us. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So um, we see that. Um, now we see that, you know, we see that there's so much tragedy. The minister sent this broadcast out. There's no hope. You know, he's worried and his hope is gone. He's just like, man, I stay behind. I, I let go of broadcast people. Some people are not listening. Some people, people are just dying. Things are getting destroyed. Things are turning into dust. What's next? That's my question now to you. Cause I, like, as, like we said, guys, Joel's reading the book. He knows what's going on. So please tell our viewers. Yeah. So, so we see a little light at the end of the tunnel. And that light is? That light is a Jedi that received the broadcast. So they see the broadcast, they pick it up. Um, the Jedi's name is Avar Chris. Okay. And she says through the broadcast, hi, we're here to help. And then the chapter ends. Bum, bum, bum. That's awesome. Um, At least we got a Jedi, but. Yeah, we got a Jedi. After chapter three, we get a Jedi. Sorry. And we most likely will get a lot more Jedis after that. Wink, wink. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. All right, well, <laughs> let's get into it, guys. Let's dive into the summarization of it, and let's talk about what we're thinking of right now. So, Joel, I'll go with you. From everything that you read, mm -hmm. what is your feeling on the first three chapters and going forward? Even though you do know what happens after, but for these three chapters that you have read or have heard on Audible, what do you think so far? Link down below. Uh, no, um, what, what I like about it is that Every book is usually slow or, or it's usually slow at the beginning. So you don't get, you don't get ramped up. Yeah, you don't get this, that rush. This one is kind of playing with your emotions. So you oh, build, so you build phew, down, you build down. And so you think it's going to be a very consistent thing, which, which is not. Right. Um, and I can promise you it is not. Um, but what I can honestly say is the, production side of it of what they did for audible um and not only that just just hearing the level of detail that they give in this book you will fall in love with it if you're a star wars fan you will fall in love with it um and you would appreciate why they killed off these characters um coming to the next few chapters that we have not bad well you heard it from joel himself guys yeah i, I like mean that guy after, after giving my summaries and, and my explanations on on chapter one, two, and three, how do you feel, Rob? Um, I mean, honestly, I guess mine, it's a, it's kind of in, it's in the middle because I do, I do agree with you in a sense of, yes, you know, um, there is a, I like the action part of it that, you know, there's a rush, you know, like you get to learn these people and then they die off and it's kind of like nonstop. I, I like that. But at the same time too, for me, it's just like, I, I want to see people last. Like, I know it's only the beginning, but I guess that's where you and me differ. You know, it's just, I want to see it last. I want, I want the storyline to start. Like, I want to see where it's like action, action, action. And then, you know, we kind of have those characters that are still kind of going, you know, but Hey, it's only the first three chapters. Let's see what happens. You never know exactly and you know what i i feel like the same way you know like i feel like damn give me somebody that i can stick with yeah um, but around is just but you know i mean i know they warned us people are going to die off and, and and i get that we're gonna get more jedi more characters but 
just I would just love for it to just be kind of like, you know, you, it's like you want that that strong relationship from the beginning. You don't want to have that, you know, that rocky turbulence, you know, in the beginning. You want it to <laughs> shoot, you know, but, you know, I get it in a sense, you know. For sure. And, and to be honest with you guys, again, it, it is a good book. I know we only talked about one, one, two, one, two, and three, those chapters, but I promise you, it gets into, uh, it gets into other, other fights. Um, you see, you see relationships with Jedi's and their pad ones. Um, and you really build on the characters from there. Spoiler alert. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not going to say their names or anything like that right now, uh-huh. and we will, and we will most likely get into that further yeah. down the road. Yeah. Um, but again, I just wanted to tell you guys how I felt about the first three chapters. I personally liked it, even if people died and went thing. But it leaves me with a level of suspense because we still don't know what was coming through the galaxy. Well, yeah. maybe I do, but you don't. I and have, so, don't, which is the crazy part. So yeah. <laughs> so it still leaves you with a level of suspense. Yeah. And just I, I telling you right now, it really is a good book. And it is it is a good listen to. So yeah. I mean, again, it's a free book if you guys go straight down to the the link down below and just, you know, just click on it, get your first three 30 days. Um, the book is not that long to listen to. You can get it done within a couple of days. Um, and personally speaking, you'll love it. So I, I, I mean, appreciate it. Sounds, like, it sounds really, really good. I mean, I, I, I love, I love the story so far. It's really, really good. You know? So I think, mm-hmm. I think, you know, our fans out there, I think the, and, and the viewers will love it. I mean, especially at Star Wars. I mean, we've been looking for something new anyway, you know, so I think it definitely will, will hit that note. For sure. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely a good book. Um, and we're, we're looking for for more content, yeah. um, you know, so after this, I'll be definitely reading more of, um, more of the High Republic, and not only reading more of the High Republic, but we'll be going into the new, uh, the new Disney Plus series that are going to be coming out, and the, whatever leaks comes out. Um, I don't want to be one of those first ones that talk about the same thing like everybody else. Yeah. But I definitely want to get into more uh, information of what we what what's to come. Yeah, guys, and you'll definitely hear more content from us on different things. It just won't be the High Republic. It will be other content that comes out, you know, especially with Disney Plus, as Joel said, having so many things coming out. We'll be talking about everything Star Wars. Yeah, guys. So we appreciate you guys tuning in. We appreciate you guys listening to the first three chapters of The Light of the Jedi uh, and part of the High Republic series. So we appreciate you guys tuning into our channel. Please comment down below if you have any questions. Um, Hit that like button. Don't forget that little bell as well to get notifications when we do post. Um, We will be posting twice a week or sometimes more. Um, So just stay tuned for that. Uh, Rob, anything? Yeah, kind of everything what Joel said, you know. And if it's something that is Star Wars newsworthy right away, we'll make sure to get it to you guys as soon as possible and right away. So hit the like and subscribe button. Other than that, got nothing else to say. All right, guys, have a good one. May the force be with you. May the force be with you guys. Stay safe, guys.